Hey, how you doing? This is Kitch, and you are watching me play a Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. After all my searching and everything we accomplished in the last episode, I did a little bit of exploration, and to the north, I found one of these. Um, this is the this is the tractor that I was referring to earlier, uh, the automatic auto harvesting tractor, and it's got an advanced reaper on it. So all those problems we were having, uh, instantly gone, uh, plus two electric motors. Um, it does just have a regular plow, but it has an advanced seed drill. What's the difference between that? Drop seeds. Yeah. Yeah. Plows. You can store items here when turned on. It'll stop the vehicle. Oh, so it's a strong engine. I don't know what the difference is between an advanced seed drill and a regular seed drill, but I want it. And it's now mine. Uh, I want to take this storage battery as well. Oh, I'm going to have to pull out the, the jack to get that. We can do that. Uh, let's see that. Let's go ahead and grab a plow. Uh, definitely get the advanced reaper. Uh, robot controls. Allow the vehicle to drive itself, or you to drive it remotely using a controller. Hmm. Let's take it. Uh, oh boy, I'm starting to get really tired. Uh, no, we'll go ahead and take it. Uh, security camera, headlight, board. I think that's all I'm really interested in taking right now. Uh, with the exception of the storage battery, which I can go back for. Let's see. Where did I park? Right here. Uh, we got plenty of space there. Looks like it. Good. <laughs> so uh, now we have the ability to create a scoop, uh, even though we don't really need it. Um, I'm up here. Uh, the town we were in, I, I just kind of drove around, uh, had a little driving adventure. Um, didn't really find anything interesting worth looking at. And I uh, found a little hole in the woods up here, so I thought I would just kind of come up here and, and, and explore these endpoints while we were up here. Uh, oh, looks like there's a really, really big town here. Um, I didn't notice that before. But um, we have a problem right now in that I am dead tired. I'm thinking about just uh, popping into this house right here. We got a bed here. We got a pillow. Let's just uh, let's just take a little nap here. <laughs> we'll take a little nap. We will roll the intro, and uh, I will see you shortly after. We have made our way back to the farm. I'd forgotten that I had my chicken in my uh, pocket, <laughs> so uh, I grabbed him and uh, let him go. He is now uh, in the barn with all his other friends. Uh, looks like we've got a pheasant, a turkey, another pheasant, a grouse, a snake, <laughs> a timber rattlesnake, uh, interesting, and a Canadian goose. Um... I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be Canada Goose, but uh, what do I know? Uh, who, who am I to correct grammar? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's it's Canada Goose. But anyway, um, our cow is over there. Uh, he's good and happy in his new home. Uh, hopefully, we'll get him some friends here soon. Um, all right, so I want to do a little bit of car work this time around. Uh, we don't have anything to harvest right now, but it should be coming here soon. Uh, let's go ahead and modify this. I'm going to go ahead and just remove the reaper. And I'm going to go ahead and remove the seed drill as well. And then install the advanced seed drill. Whatever it does, and uh, install the advanced reaper. Uh, where's the advanced reaper? Hmm. It's in this pile, isn't it? Yeah. It was in the same pile. Install. There's the reaper. An advanced seed drill. 
Uh, does it require... Can I install it here? Does it need a frame? Is that what I'm looking at there? Uh, I'm confused. Used to cut and collect store crops. Hmm. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and install just a blank frame up here. Uh, let's make it like a pointy frame. And, uh, see if we can do the advanced reaper here. Yeah, okay. Needs a frame. Go figure. All right, so that should be everything we need then, because you should have a cargo space, right? Should be placed in the front of any plows for efficient operation. It has an it has internal cargo space for collecting the harvest. You can store items here. When turned on, it will stop the vehicle. How much uh, how much storage space do you have? Eighty seven. That'll work. All right. We'll move you up here for now, and uh, let's just go ahead and uh, repair that. And we'll repair the seat and the wheel. We don't have super glue or duct tape. Uh, well, we do, but uh, we don't have much of it. Uh, let's grab the welder over here. I'm going to uh, going to do a little bit of repairing on the Humvee while we're here. We had a couple of incidents with uh, some parked cars and scooters while we were in the street. It's funny, the, the, the zombies don't seem to affect any of this stuff at all. We can just plow right over them. But you hit a bicycle, and it's, it's, all, it's all over. Can't repair that. Can't repair that. All right. Is that everything, at least on the outside? All right, fantastic. Uh, so this should be good to go now. Let's go ahead and move you out of the way. Uh, we'll move you here for now. And let's go down to our car lot and see if we have something available here. Um, the bus, that's going to be too big. I think I'm still thinking about grabbing this car here and just and just working with it. It's got a full tank of gas. It, it should be fine. All right. Well, it's not a full tank of gas. I guess it's half a tank of gas, but still, that's, uh, that's plenty of gas. Uh, all right, so I've moved a lot of stuff up here. Let's see... I'm just looking through here real quick to see what we have. Okay. We need to make animal something. Animal lockers. Two long ropes, 40 wires, and six pipes. Uh, oh, boy. I hope that's not going to be a problem. We can currently make three of them. We've got one in the Humvee, so that would be four. I was wanting, I was wanting some more, but that will work, I guess. At least until we get some more long rope. Uh, let's come down here and uh, see if we can eat something here real quick. Uh, let's see. Let's eat some chicken. And uh, maybe maybe some beans. Oh, that's a big one. I'm sure that'll be fine uh, for now. Grab something to drink. All right, and let's go. Let's go work on another one here. Uh, wait, did we do them all? Okay, we got three of them here. Fantastic. Um, hmm. All right, we've got an open spot right there. We'll move them down there, and then just drag them down here. So we've got four. Um, let's see. Do you have wheels on the outside? Yeah.
let's remove uh let's just uh let's just remove them let's 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 make the car we want um what was i looking for i'm wanting the folded hand jack that should be enough to make this work activate the folded hand jack uh we want to remove the quarter panel remove the wheel remove the wheel assembly remove the frame yeah I just want to shorten it by one tile, basically. Uh, oh. I guess I accidentally installed my atomic nightlight. Not sure how I did that. Okay, that shortens it up a bit. And then, let's see, let's remove... The quarter panel and the quarter panel. And let's install an animal compartment. Install an animal compartment. Install an animal compartment. Okay, and uh, then let's remove that animal compartment. and install our last one all right there all right and let's install a wheel hub assembly we'll put the we'll just move the wheels uh, up a space install wheel hub assembly install a wheel and install a wheel All right, so that's four, and if we got an additional two, we could put one right here and then one right here. We only need two doors to get in. Uh, we do have some cargo spaces here in case we need anything with 162 liters each. I think that works. Um, looks a little goofy, but hey, it's Cataclysm. We got some spare parts here. Uh, there's nothing else that we need to install here, right? <laughs> we could armor blade it, uh, though I don't think that's really necessary. I guess, uh, do we need to put, like, um... I mean, we can't walk through it, right? No, it's it's not passable. So that should be, that should be fairly safe. All right, before we dump this, let's see what we got here. It's just steel frames. Uh, we do want the light back. Steel frames, sheet metal. That works. All right, let's uh, let's see if we can repair some of this stuff. Uh, we can't do the stereo system or the clock. Can we do the reclining seat? We can. Boy, this car. I feel like we drove it around for quite a bit. It is not in good shape. All right, we need, uh, what do we need to do that? Plastic chunks and duct tape. I believe we have both of those. Duct tape. Uh, stop interacting with the vehicle. Yes. All right. Uh, turn off the light. We got some copper wire out of that somehow. All right. Uh, let's see. We need to. We need to take a little nap. 
Uh, let's go over here and drink some water before we do. Uh, what time is it? 11 o'clock. Hopefully we'll wake up and have some daylight. So there's our animal carrier. Uh, we can go out and grab some more animals now. I'm trying to remember if there were any cows at the farm uh, where the NPC was at. I'm sure there probably were. So we'll have to find some uh, animal fodder or cattle fodder. I think there was probably some at that farm. Boy, we're sleeping a bit, aren't we? Uh, can we cook anything? Why? What, what's what's what? Wait, hold on. What was that? Uh, something about a beef stew entree. Hmm. All right. That looks like an MRE that was open. I don't remember opening it. And we'll do that and the rest of the beans. I need to move the mutagen out of the way. I have this horrible fear that I'm going to accidentally drink it. <laughs> All right, let's see. We needed some uh, plastic chunks and duct tape. There's some plastic chunks and duct tape. We have 7,000 of it. Uh, let's move, I don't know, like 200. All right, let's see if we can get this thing fixed up here. Repair the stereo. That's the important part. Uh, get the controls fixed. And then it was like wheels? Okay. Can we fix the windshield? Apparently we can. Apparently you can weld the windshield back together. Uh, can't fix the seat belt, but I don't think we technically do. We don't need to worry about the security system. All right, I think I think that's in good shape there. Um, let's take it out. Uh, let's take it to that. Uh, Let's see, do I have anything in my inventory that's excessive? I have lots of things in my inventory that are excessive. Uh, let's take it up to this uh, dairy farm and see if we can find... If we can get our cows loaded up here. That would be fantastic. Nice little car. Reminds me of the uh, old Beetle a little bit. Actually, I think the Beetle was a little bit smaller. Well, actually, it's the same size as that car down there. So it's not it's not goofy. This is normal. It's completely normal. We're gonna throw uh, we're gonna throw four cows in the back of this little putt putt car. It's totally normal. Nothing odd about it at all. All right. Well, there's a cow right there. So there's at least one. All right, we'll pull them up right there. Stop driving. And we need to find some fodder. There's at least three fodders. Uh, why is it why is it not showing up? Oh, it's because I have uh, I had the filter on. Uh, filter nothing. Fodder. Uh, fodder. Fodder. Fodder, fodder, fodder. Apparently it hides in these hay bales. Interesting. Sure. 
short cordage rope. Six foot long piece of rough rope woven into natural cordage for some purpose, but not as strong as flexible as proper rope. Hmm. I wonder if this can be used. Did we memorize this recipe? We did. Uh, short cordage ropes. Sure enough. Look at that. Boy, we just, uh, two birds and, and one stone here. Can we, do we know the recipe for cattle fodder? We do. Barley, buckwheat, wheat, wild vegetables, raw beans, cabbage. All right. I was wondering if it had anything to do with the straw. I guess not. Uh, cordage ropes, cordage ropes. I really like this game. <laughs> I just, who knew? Uh, who knew that uh, we, we could we could get rope out of hay bales? Uh, looks like we've got uh, looks like we've got three cows, if I'm not mistaken. Let's activate. I don't know if we need to do this one at a time or if we can uh, do them all. Uh, do you want to follow me, cow? Attach bag to cow. Not skilled enough to ride without a saddle. Hmm. Push cow. <laughs> I mean, do you follow me at all? No, you just kind of randomly, randomly walk around. All right, it seemed like the last cow followed me. It made it a lot easier. Oh, now you're following me. Now you're deciding to be friendly. I see you got jealous because I looked at that other cow. Come on, Bessie. Uh, push cow. Push cow. Push the cow. Push the cow. Push the cow. All right. Uh, capture, release, capture that cow. All right. So we should have a cow in there. Holding cow. Excellent. Whoa, sorry. Did not mean to do that, cow. I was just kidding. Okay, you want to follow me? Look at you. You're a good cow. I'll butcher you last. All right, there's two. And where was number three? Oh, there's four of them. Excellent. Well, that just worked out swimmingly, didn't it? Whoa, sorry. Sorry. Oh, sorry, cow. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, can I make it up to you? All right. Yeah, you want to follow me? Sorry, I hit you with a sword. <laughs> All right. Capture the cow. And we've got one more. Are you following me now? All right. It just took you a little bit of time. I got it. I got it. It's going to do this on your time. Capture the cow. Excellent. We have cows. Um, I was wanting to see if I could just, uh, Take that washer with me. There's nothing really too crazy here. Copper tubing, copper wire. That's kind of rare stuff. All this other stuff we have in just big giant piles of it. Uh, I was thinking about making a washing machine. I have no idea why. I don't think we can do anything with the plumbing stuff. Like, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure that we can... Uh, not sure that we can, like, build a shower or get a functional shower or anything like that. Uh, one thing I am thinking about, though, 
is I can remove, I just remembered this, I can remove the seat belt. And that gives me a short rope. And you get enough of those short ropes, and uh, you have more animal carriers. Uh, did we already look through this? I feel like we did. Emergency oxygen pack? Yeah. Uh, let's see. This one looks in pretty bad shape. I don't know if we can harvest these uh, seatbelts. Huh. Seatbelt, seatbelt. All right, well, that's uh, that's a good start. That with the cordage ropes, we should be able to... Uh, we only need to make two more. And, uh, and that should do it. All right, well, you know, uh, I really appreciate... I think it was Author was his name? Uh, the NPC that we had to take out there, uh, we would have had too many cows to haul in that, and I'm glad he went and shot some of them. Uh, that way we would have enough. He was thinking of us the whole time. You hear a loud bang from the, oh, from the, the engine. Are, is our engine faulty? Apparently our engine's faulty. Oh, that's right. Yeah, no, I, I seem to recall something like that. I believe it's a fuel filter, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, for what we're going to be using this car for, I'm not sure that it makes a bit of difference at all. All right. Uh, let's pull in here. And then back it up. Uh, right to there. So I was being extra careful. I didn't want to run into the fence and break the fence. All right, let's take out that. We'll open that gate and that gate. I want to examine that. I want to release the creature there. Uh, capture, release a creature, place the cow there. Capture, release, place the cow there. And uh, capture, release creature, place the cow there. Uh, close that gate. And as soon as Bessie there moves, we'll close that gate. Any day now, Bessie. Push the cow. No, we can't push the cow. <laughs> Um, hmm. Oh, there she went. Oh, now she's back. <laughs> uh, wait a while. Let's wait, uh, let's wait five minutes. No? Still no? Uh, let's wait a while. Let's wait another five minutes. Every other cow in the world, except for Betsy there, is off doing things. It's like she'll step out. There she is. Stay out. No, don't go back. Ah, there we go. Right there. All right. That should be all safe and secure now. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you in the next episode where... um. 
point. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to do. I mean, we're we're kind of in the mode right now. I guess we could go get some more animals. Or maybe we'll go and visit that research facility. Um, just just waiting, just let, give, give it some time for the plants to grow is really all we're doing here. Uh, but thank you very much for watching. Again, I will see you next time. Have a good one.